Hey, how's it going, everyone? Brad Smith here with HealthLink, looking for the top health and fitness experts throughout the world. I'm joined with a local health and fitness expert, uh, Christy Bruner. How are you today, Christy? Hello. Thanks for having me, Brad. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining me. And I know you've had your hands in a lot of health and fitness businesses locally here in St. Pete, where I'm from. So we've seen what you've been doing. Uh, if you could just introduce yourself to the audience real quick. Sure. Um, I have been a baby boot camp owner uh, for the past 10 years. I just recently sold the business. So I had three kids that were able to participate with me, to come with me to class, to learn about fitness um, throughout those 10 years. And my little one just got a little too big for a stroller last year. So I was able to sell, sell the business and move on to do some other consulting work. Um, while I, I, I was with Baby Boot Camp, I was also the national director of fitness for two years. So I worked with other um, local owners across the country, working on continuing education, working on improving what they're doing within their classes across the country. So that gave me a lot of knowledge that I was able to use in my later um, work. So That's really cool. We saw you with the strollers around town at the park, yeah. so that was pretty yeah. cool. Everyone's like, oh, you're the people with the babies down <laughs> by the water. Yes, that was us. So it's, it was great, outside of just the fitness opportunities, the opportunities for moms to come together in a community. And now looking back, having 10 years of clients still doing fitness activities with these people that they met, they were never into fitness to start with. So becoming a mom is a great opportunity for people to find fitness for the first time or rediscover that they want to be healthy for different reasons. So that was a cool opportunity. Great way to connect with people locally and build up your name in the area and the clientele. Um, you're starting some, you know, you're with the St. Pete Run Fest and that this isn't just local. You said people travel from all over. Tell us real quick um, what that is. I know it's a half marathon, but just give us a little bit better explanation. Sure. So the St. Pete Run Fest is a new event this year um, in St. Petersburg, Florida. We are having a variety of different events, um, starting with the half marathon is our key event, but we're also having a 5K event, and um, I'm going to be youth wellness director, so we are working on a level, especially on our local market, with getting the youth and community engaged, which um, coming from the mom and family fitness background is really important to me because obviously kids get started with their healthy choices or not so healthy choices at a young age. We want to make yeah. Um, engagement and activity like this to be fun. So we have an eight-week training program that's available free online that the kids can do. And even for kids that aren't necessarily coming to our event, that they can go to our website and download and do things with their families every day working towards this um, race. Not only just fitness, but also wellness and nutrition and different elements so that they're getting a well-rounded experience. Um, what's the, so what's the age range that, for the kids? What's, that? what's the age range for the kids? Sure. So we have um, the little shrimp dashes for the little kids. So we have the cute little diaper dashes we're going to do for ages cool. one through four. And then our target audience for the one mile run is going to be elementary age, so K through five. And we're also doing a marathon challenge so the kids can do um, miles on their own. We're, we're doing a run club at schools throughout the district, throughout the Tampa Bay area, that they can accumulate 25 miles on their own or with their run club. And then they do the 26th mile with us. And then they've done a marathon. So they think that's something that's super cool. And they're earning incentive prizes along the way. Um, and then our 5K program, we also have a basically a couch to 5K type program that's available for our middle schoolers and high schoolers. And also we're offering that for employee wellness benefits. So different companies that want to get involved, they can use our eight-week 5K training program as well. Well, that's awesome. So you, you were working with the parents. And now do you have some of their kids in this program now? Yes, it is, it is very cool. My oldest is in middle school. So I have kids that came to my first baby boot camp classes 10 plus years ago that are now in middle school. And they are doing, you know, my daughter ran track at middle school last year. They're doing their run clubs and they're wanting to do 5Ks and longer things now. And, you know, I would like to think some of that is attributed to, you know, waking up every day. My child, when she started, when she was six months old, she came to me in a That's stroller. Cool. Um, with me every day to work out in the park and that was just part of our daily uh, activities. It wasn't anything outside the norm. Um, it wasn't something that everyone loathed to do. They wanted to go out to the park and see friends and be active and that was how these kids grew up. So they're thinking that they want to keep being active at their ages now. 
Well, that's really cool. Now, this might just seem like a general question, but you've experienced it firsthand working with the parents and then with the kids. You know, how beneficial is it for these kids to have parents that are healthy and active as they grow up? Absolutely. No, that's a great question because it's really a full community effect and something that we really feel is important and something, especially with the training programs that we're offering, it's not something that we want the kids to just come and do the one mile and go back home. We want them to be engaged throughout the year. This is not just a one and done event. We want to, a lot of community engagement so that the families are doing it with them. Maybe the families are training and the mom would never think of signing up for a 5K, but she's like, I've been you know, running with you for eight weeks and I, I think I can do this now. So they're gonna get that, that motivation, that inspiration and that confidence that they can do things that they didn't think that they could do. So kind of everybody stepping outside their comfort level together and starting as early as you can. And we're doing these programs in the schools. So hopefully the administrators, the staff are doing small changes to make, um, you know, that the kids are seeing, they're, they're picking up on everything. They're picking up on not only the academics that we're teaching them, but lifestyle choices and things that the teachers are doing and saying. And if it's a healthy environment, it's gonna, it's gonna help our children and they're the next generation. So we want that to be healthy. It's such a great community thing you're offering, the St. Pete Run Fest. I think that's bringing the community to get together, the parents, the kids, the teachers. Um, tell me a little bit about people traveling here. You said people come from, you know, out of the absolutely, area. Absolutely, absolutely. This is, it's a first year event for us, um, but it is actually the first um, uh, half marathon that's going to be in St. Petersburg for about four years. We've had a few competitor group events, women's half marathon, uh, rock and roll half marathons that were national events. And we really want to highlight um, St. Petersburg as a destination location. So we're working with the Convention and Visitors Bureau. It's going to be in November. People want to come down and see what we're doing because it's cold yeah. everywhere else. And we have so much to offer. Our city has so yeah. much to offer for visitors. So it's going to be an event that is not just go to the event, get your medal, and go home. We're really expounding on the athlete experience. Um, we're actually going to be a... Um, an event that is not having any plastic waste or any kind of um, oh, cool. things that are going to be unsustainable for the environment. We're working at the sustainability group. So we're having no plastic on the course. We're giving away water bottles, stainless steel water bottles at the end of the race. So oh. there's going to be a lot of amenities that are going into this race that you're not going to see at your typical race. Um, and it also, instead of a typical uh, expo that you're going to go to to pick up your wellness packet, it's, we're calling it a wellness village. So it's gonna be outlining some of the different opportunities to be well as a whole person, as a whole family, as a whole community. So we really oh, wow. wanted That's to great. highlight that you're not just doing an event this weekend and going home. We want you to be a healthy, person as a whole and that's going to help your family it's going to help the community as a whole so lots of things for people to do outside of just run a half marathon um to yeah. come visit us in november november 18th and 19th correct you got it it's the weekend before thanksgiving now where exactly in st pete will the race be going on and the event sure so the race is going to be downtown st petersburg beautiful st petersburg we love it um, right on the waterfront, and it's going to be um, around the Mahaffey Theater. It's going to kind of be our access point. So it's going to include the Saturday morning market, which if you're not from St. Petersburg, amazing resource for um, all things local and fresh. And then, we, like I said, we're going to have that wellness village all in that area. So the okay. half marathon course is going to take you through downtown St. Petersburg. Three Daughters is our title sponsor for the half marathon, which is local brewery. So it's going to go all the way to the local brewery and around and then up to um, Coffee Pot area, right along the water, some beautiful yeah. neighborhoods in St. Petersburg. Yeah, and if anyone's not familiar with St. Pete, they'll be running along next to the yachts, the water, yeah. the hotels that are there on the water, the brick roads probably. So it's really a beautiful place yes, and the perfect, a perfect place for an event like this. Yes, absolutely. So we're looking to definitely capitalize on people wanting to come down and check out the city. And then also we want to capitalize on what our city has to offer. And so we're partnering with um, a lot of the local, um, like I said, the tours and boards, but also local event companies that are doing other things. There's Shop of Palooza going on downtown for shopping for the holidays. There's lots of different other, there's the Craft Florida Craft Festival that's going on that weekend as well. So we want people right. to come down and see what's going on yeah. and to enjoy the city um and all that it has to offer for sure and if you go to our website um for the run fest it's stpeterunfest.org 
and we do have a tour of the um, course so you can go on there and see some of the sights and sounds that you'll experience during the race. Yeah, we'll make sure to post that link above or below the video, depending on where they're watching it from. Uh, what Are they able to look at maybe somebody's traveling from out of town? Do you have any information about hotels on there? We do. We have tourism okay. information. We have hotel information. We have all the uh, things that you'll need to know about coming into our area, what's to see and do, and um, how to get here. Okay, they can sign up on the website, and they, the kids can also get that uh, that workout plan also. Yes, yes. If you go to our kids uh, training section, there's links to download and to look at our free training program. Like I said, the eight week training program gives you things to do every day. And it's perfect to use even if you're not planning on coming down to our race this year. You can download that. You can use it in your school run group. Um, we've done a 5K at my kids elementary school the past five years or so. Yeah. And then the past two years, we've actually done a, a training program, which is like maxed out. We tried to keep it at 50 kids. More kids want to do it. A lot of kids and a lot of families want to be active and they may not have the resources or the places to do these things. So that's why we wanted to make this um, training program accessible to anybody. So whether you have a group at school or a community center that wants to do something like this, or whether you're just at home, you can go ahead and download it and see ideas of what to do every day. Um, you're gonna have strength incorporated, cardio incorporated, nutrition, and building the community environment as well. So that's all available online for the one mile kids race for elementary and also um, for the 5k for older kids and for adults. Okay, perfect. We'll make sure to post that link. I always like to see, I want to take a step back and kind of get your story. I, I know everyone has a unique story on why we got in the industry, why we started helping people with their health and fitness. If you could just tell us why you got into the baby boot camp. I'm not sure if that's where you first started, but just give us a quick rundown on why you got started in the fitness industry. Sure, good question. Um, well, I grew up a swimmer my entire life. I was a competitive swimmer. I swam competitively in college. I had a degree in exercise science um, and then moved down to Florida um, from the Midwest after college and got married and had a baby right away um, and wanted to basically find some friends in the area that wanted to do the same kinds of things that I wanted to, you know, be outside, enjoy the weather get together, meet some friends, um, and be active. And there was a group in Tampa that was doing stroller fitness classes. And so I went up to Tampa, which is about 30 minutes away from my home, um, and decided I didn't really want to have friends 30 minutes away. I wanted to uh, you know, make some great connections here in St. Petersburg. So I decided to open the franchise here when my first daughter was um, six months old. And I got my personal training certification and um, kind of grew from there um, with yeah. you know two or three clients at a time and getting the word out of word of mouth before Facebook, before social media. It yeah. was a little bit tougher, but we were at one the of school. the first. We were one of the first boot camps. It wasn't a big thing to be working out outside and using right. the environment. So um, of course, as you know, you go downtown now and there's one every block, which is fabulous because people are being active. So I definitely love that. Um, and I grew from there. I uh, taught more classes. I had more instructors come underneath me. I had more locations. Um, we were up to probably 12 classes a week at three different locations with a few different um, instructors um, as we got bigger and bigger. Um, and like I said, the fitness element was obviously what the class was about, but the social and the mental aspects of the class well, what really motivated me to to share the word and to to let people know what we were doing and i really felt that every mom needed to try the class whether she always worked out and ran marathons before she had a baby or you know fitness was never something that would cross her mind but now you're doing it for a new reason um yeah. and now that i sold baby boot camp you know having that um family and community focus um for so long i've been doing some consulting um I worked with the American uh, Heart Association and the schools. I've uh, worked with a, a meal delivery company, just doing cool. some different things that I really feel like uh, adding value to people's lives and making small changes to have lasting health benefits. Yeah, and I love the community aspect to it. And uh, you just grew from there. You built friendships, helped people with their health and their fitness. And now, you know, I'm sure you have tons of great success stories you could share. It's it's amazing. One one that I, I, t I definitely remember was a friend of mine that I knew from a mom's group. And 
she had daughters about the same ages as my kids. And with my first daughter, she was not into fitness. She wasn't going to come to class. I'm like, just come. You can see if you like it. No, I'm not going to try it. Um, and then with her second daughter, um, and I had my second daughter, we were doing class by the park and she was playing with her daughter at the park and we were running by with the strollers. I said, why don't you just come tomorrow? Just come to class and we'll just hang out. You can walk, whatever. Um, just give you something to do and meet some friends. And she came to class and um, she kept coming to class. She surprised herself. She liked it. She enjoyed it. And from there, started running 5Ks because we had a group that was doing some running together and then started doing half marathons. And she actually ran a marathon a few wow. years later. And this is just her lifestyle now. And uh, cool. it's just amazing that, you know, it took a few years <laughs> to, to, to kind of convince her that maybe just try it. And um, she's, you know, super happy now that it's a decision she decided to make for herself and for her family. Um, and just all the connections she's made um, with friends and that, it, you know, started with a fitness connection. Well, that's awesome. You, she just had to try it once. That's it. That's all it takes. It, it, it's, a, it's a really hard thing if pe that's not what they conceptualize themselves as I'm not a workout person I'm not a running person that's not what I do I'm but you don't realize how lethargic you feel how you know tired you feel because that's just your way of life so Until you, you know bringing a friend to class with you just walk and show up and see you know what you can do um makes a big difference yeah definitely and I think that leads into my next it's not really a question, but we're going to post another link here, but I think it's the best way for somebody to check out what you're up to, get started with you, whether they're in town or out of town. Um, it's not supposed to be easy is the website. We'll make yes. sure we post the link. Tell us real quick, you know, what that is and is that the best place for somebody to get started and check out what you're up to? Yeah, definitely. I try to kind of post everything that I've, I've been uh, assimilated with there um, and how I can kind of um, bring all of my concepts together as far as being a mom and being a trainer and putting it, all of those thoughts together. So I came up, up with, it's not supposed to be easy because I found myself saying that to my daughters, that life is not supposed to be easy. You're not handed everything that you need, you know, studying and preparing for tests, preparing for the real world, cleaning your room, doing all these tedious things that no one wants to do. It's not supposed to be easy. Okay. So get over it. And then on the other side of the coin, um, my fitness clients, it's not supposed to be easy. Take the first step. It's not an easy first step. You know, working out for one or two times, yeah, that's not a big deal. The consistency is the hard part. It's not supposed to be easy. So I just found that um, central theme kind of coming back to me with both my personal and family life and with my fitness life. Cool. So I thought that was a good way to to combine them both. So I also um, do a, a friend feature Friday where I featured some of my um, local and and not so local um, friends that own some businesses that have been inspirational to me. And I try to find out about a time in their life that things haven't been easy and how did they overcome that to reach where they are either on a fitness level or on a business level. So that's been um, interesting to me to find out where you know people are coming from and where what led them to where they are now. Yeah, great. We'll make sure we post the link. I think everyone should get started there. Um, there's some really cool pictures here, stuff at the park, and um, so I think that's a great place to start. We'll make sure we post the link in there, Christy. Awesome. So I want to encourage everyone watching. You know, check out the St. Pete Run Fest if you're in the area. Definitely check it out. Join. Uh, take your kids. Go to the website. See if it's a good fit for you. If you're not, you can check out the It's Not Supposed to Be Easy site. I think that's a good place to get started. And I just want to encourage anyone watching, you know, if you want to start living a healthier lifestyle, find a good coach or a good mentor, um, somebody that can help you get on the right track and just get you to that first class, I think is uh, one of the most important things. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Christy. I appreciate it. Thanks for sharing your story. And uh, hopefully we'll see you downtown for the St. Pete Run Fest. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Brad. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>